These are the fastest boats, fastest monohulls there are afloat. These boats all these boats hold a 24-hour speed record. You throw these rocket ships out in the middle of storms, and that's what we do, we chase storms. These boats are fast enough that we'll see, instead of going from point A to point B, there's a storm over there, we go jump in front of it, get on the correct side of it, and go blazing in. There's, I mean, walls of water this big crashing over the boat. You, you're going down waves at, uh, you know, like I said, 40 plus miles an hour, smashing into a wave in front of you or a wave careens over the side. And we've had guys wiped off the wheel. We've had the whole, the whole crew laying on their backs like bowling pins. Um, uh, no, it's violent. The boat is violent. It's constantly banging and smashing. It's like living in a, like living in a bass drum downstairs. It's, that's not right. <laughs> it's not normal. I don't recommend it for sure, uh, but you got to do it. It's part of the race and we get it done. Welcome to our home. Now I'm going to show you what it's like to live inside a bass drum. There are no creature comforts. Remember, as light as we can make this boat, that makes it faster. And when the boat's healing over, you just angle the berth up to make it level and to kind of pin you into the bunk because the boat is usually pretty violently shaken around, so you want to be kind of pinned up against the wall. A, a packet of freeze-dried food, and it might say, uh, I don't know, chicken a la king, for example. It all tastes like dog food to me. It looks like a normal toilet. It happens to be made out of carbon fiber, but one nice feature is it gimbals. So when the boat's healing over, you can keep yourself uh, we're a bunch of blue-collar guys who go out and get our asses kicked every day, you know, and I think most Americans can relate to that. We obviously had a disaster on leg one when our mast fell over the side, and, and uh, we've been fighting uphill ever since, and uh, these last two legs have been pretty big for us. Two wins, two leg wins, and all of a sudden it's vaulted us right back near the top. Why can't we win this race? No boat has ever won the Volvo race but, and also not finished a leg. So that's our goal. We want to be the first boat to ever do that.